Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a part two to my tanning tips and tricks. I'm gonna make this video short and sweet because I'm not sure how many of you guys are interested in these tips and tricks, but if you want a part three, let me know down below. The first thing I want to talk about is a few things that I do when I tan. I know it can get very boring, very boring when you tan. It's hot and uncomfortable. I'm just gonna read you off a list of things that I do to give you guys some ideas so that you can manage your time in the sun in a fun way. One thing I do is homework. When it's not too hot out, sometimes I bring my laptop out and I sit on a chair in my bikini and just do homework on my computer. The next thing I do is join my Zoom classes. I just turn my camera off and I pay attention. This is probably best for when you are tanning your back because then I can lie on the ground and kind of prop up and watch the screen and everything. The next thing I do is read a magazine or a book. That's a little, yeah, self-explanatory. Just some ideas. The next thing I do is listen to a audio book or a podcast. Just pop in my headphones or I just let it, let it rumble for the neighbors on a low volume. I like to listen to conspiracy theories on my podcast app. And a lot of people don't know this, but podcasts are free. There's an app on iPhone that comes with your phone and you just listen to a bunch of podcasts for free. There's topics on legit everything. Even Emma Chamberlain has her own podcast. The next thing I do is listen to music and I get Alexa to play that on my Amazon Echo or I just play it on my phone. Another thing I like to do is do like a little butt workout. So I'll just have my towel down and I might do like a few squats, a few donkey kicks, maybe a little crunches just to like really kill two birds with one stone, if you know what I'm saying. The next thing I do is eat a snack or a meal. I like to bring out a snack or a meal and just enjoy it because when you're out in the sun, you are still getting a tan. You don't need to be lying there like a still stiff piece of bread from last week. You know, you can move around. That'll actually give you a better tan and more even co everywhere because it's hitting all the spots, if you know what I'm saying. The next thing I do is wax my legs. Now, this is going to sound gross or weird to some of you guys, but I don't care because this might be a hack for some of y'all, but I buy the Veet wax strips that you just heat up in between your hands, but I bring them outside and instead of heating them up with my hands, I just lay them out in the sun and they heat up and I go ahead and wax my legs because why not? No one's gonna see me in my backyard. And it's, again, killing two birds with one damn stone. Poor stone. I meant poor bird. <laughs> the next thing I do is I do my nails. So I will file my nails and paint my toenails or whatever it is. The next thing I would recommend is to call a friend. FaceTime them or whatever. It's kind of like when you walk somewhere alone and it's super boring and you feel inclined to call your friend. It's like that. It's fun. Hit up a pal. Chat. Spill the tea gossip, whatever. The next thing I recommend doing is I watch Netflix or YouTube while I tan my back. All you have to do is just get a pillow and just, you know, put your face on it and put your hands like, like a, like that, like, and just watch it, right? The next thing I recommend is to draw or paint a picture. Some people are artistic like that and like to do DIYs. Bring it, bring your craft outside, just do it. Another thing I do is I take the opportunity while tanning and I go inside and get a huge mason jar and fill it up with water and ice and lemon. While I'm tanning my sides, I just kind of lay there and I'm just like, I just drink water. Like that's the activity, it's just hydrate. That is the list of a few things you can do while you're tanning. If you have any other ones, let me know down below. I would freaking love to hear about them because I'm always looking for things to do while I tan. Also guys, if you're in the sun for a long time to the point where you're getting bored, probably means you're outside for a really long time. So please don't forget to reapply sunscreen. I also wanna to touch base on a thing I said in the previous video, which is applying sunscreen and tanning lotion. I apply sunscreen first and then I apply whichever tanning lotion I'm using. My next hack slash tip trick 
is a fan. A lot of people ask me how I stay outside in the sun without sweating to death and getting absolutely overheated. And the answer to that is a fan. This is what I do. I grab an extension cord that my dad helped me set up outside and I plug in a fan and I put the fan on right in front of me, direct it on me. I only do this when it's super hot because I don't want to waste electricity and I make sure that I turn it off when I'm going inside or when it's honestly not that hot. But this is a huge lifesaver. It's honestly helped me stay outside for so much longer. Another thing about tanning and tips and tricks on it is that you want the UV to be high. The weather doesn't need to be hot. The UV just needs to be high. So you're gonna wanna check your weather app on the Apple weather app. You scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see the UV index. On the weather network, you will see an option to click on UV report, which is right beside the pollen report. <laughs> the pollen report! Check the pollen report, everybody! If you don't know what a UV index is, essentially it is the intensity of the sun in a specific location. So the higher the number, the faster you'll get a tan, but also the faster and more intense of a burn you can get. So you need to be very careful with high indexes. You'll be able to get a tan and burn, don't forget, between the UV indexes of four to up. So I recommend tanning or sitting in the sun when the UV is six, seven, or eight. Moral of the story, even if it's cold out, you just wanna be sure that you're checking the UV index because the higher the number it is, the better the tan and burn you can get. So you wanna be careful, but you also wanna park yourself outside. The next thing I wanna talk about regarding UV index is the apps I use for UV index. There are a few apps that I like that are specifically tailored to telling me the UV index in my location. I'm gonna link down below the apps I use, but these are them. UVI Forecast, QSun, UV Lens, UVI Mate. Check them out, they're great. My favorite one is, me trying to figure out which one my favorite one is. My favorite one is probably Q Sun. The last thing I wanna talk about is regarding after sun care. So when I'm done tanning, I like to make this mixture of vinegar and water, which consists of two parts water and one part vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, either or. It doesn't matter how much quantity you make, you just wanna make sure that it is two parts water and one part vinegar and Bob's your uncle. And then you're gonna go ahead and get a face cloth, drench it in the mixture and start patting your body all over and just keep repeating the process until you are out of your vinegar mixture. And then you're gonna let it sit on you for anywhere from five to 15 minutes. Then go ahead and shower it off and proceed your after shower care as usual. This is really gonna help neutralize any redness. It's also gonna help your red skin turn into a brown tan. I'm not saying to give yourself a burn in the sun because that is going to be painful and it's harmful to your skin. What I'm saying is when I have personally gotten a bad painful burn or redness from being in the sun, one thing that helps to neutralize the pain and the color has been this vinegar water mixture. Thank you guys so much for watching my part two on the tanning tips and tricks. I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know down below. Also, let me know if you want a part three. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.